Hi, welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, it's going to be drinking. Look, look, it's going to be smoking. Look, look, it's going to be swearing. Look, look, you've been warned. So look, look, here I come. In three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. Hi, welcome everybody. Black, white, gay, straight, crystal, Muslim, Jew. Welcome, my name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. The greatest show on earth. The greatest show. Yes. In the bald. Bang! Greatest Dagon show in the Dagon multiverse. We have a great one for you today. All right. Hope everyone had a good time over the weekend and stuff. Oh, I know the bloodbath. Don't worry. We're going to get into it. Look, let's check out the stories first. Story number one. IOTA chosen for the European Union Blockchain Initiative. Surprise, surprise. European Union's using IOTA for a lot of things. And we're going to read about that. Bang! Major onboarding. And then German fund giant seeks uh, to put Bitcoin in several of its funds. But I think this is the biggest fund master in Germany. And so we're going to talk about that. And then, and so, uh, <laughs> you know, El Salvador, Bitcoin is now legal there. Uh, that's quite the introduction. Hi, Bitcoin's legal. Oh, I just went down 12%. Yeah, I'm sure that's, that, that's, put, that's lighting a fire in the hearts of folks. <laughs> Not. All right, but anyway, so another country might want to do it. Well, 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 let's just say Panama is introducing a bill to regulate crypto, and we are going to talk about that. So, and then we're going to do the shout outs and the daily summary as usual. So, look, let's get to the carnage. <laughs> let's start off with a little bit of bong. And then we head on over here. Oh, there's a bloodbath over here. Bong. Ole. Ole. Let's get the fresh numbers. Let's, let's line it up and then let's do a refresh. Refresh. All right. Price of Bitcoin, $45,614. <laughs> Holy, what a what a bloodletting. It's a bloodletting. All right. All right. Bitcoin just got accepted by a whole nation, yet it's going down. Oh, immature market. Don't worry about it. Use this as an opportunity to get yourself some sales. If there was some crypto out there you were going to buy last week that was a little bit too expensive, well... Should be around the right price now. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we're working with here. So uh, Bitcoin's $45,614. When I left you on Sunday, we were at $50,231. So we have gone down. Uh, what's this? $4,600. And... Uh, Seventeen dollars. I've gone down four thousand six hundred and seventeen dollars. All right. All righty then. So look, let's look at the top ten of the day, brothers and sisters. You know who they are. Usual suspects. Hold on. Hold on. Get myself an order and everything here. <laughs> what a slaughter. So yeah, you know, like today, uh, you know, all oh, El Salvador, you know, blah blah blah. El Salvador went online. They even bought some Bitcoin. The, the president of El Salvador even tweeted today, buying the dips. Like, they actually bought more Bitcoin today. Uh, well, you see how that worked out. It didn't help. So, look, top 10 of the day, brothers and sisters. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Tether, Binance Coin, XRP, Solana, Dogecoin, USD Coin, and Polkadot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, let's look at the market moves of the day. Let's just call this straight double digits down. <laughs> that's all that's going on today. Sales. <laughs> double digits down. Let me get my beverages back on. My beverages are going to back on. Double digits down. Double digits down. Double digits down. Yeah, it reminds me of the good old days of 2018. What we like to call around here the crypto bloodbath of 2018. Oh, look at you, Algorand, bucking the trend and 13% up. All right. Everyone else, though. Double digits down. Double digits down. Double digits down. Oh, look at you, Near Protocol, also bucking the trend. 27% up. Double digits down to double digits down. All right. Let's see who, well, lost money today. You see anything on here you like? Go get it because it's on sale. Everything's on sale. Just go get what you can afford to get now. <laughs> Bang. 
We got top 10 losers. Revain, Theta, Horizon, Filecoin, Tezos, Qtum, Thorchain, Cosmos, Theta Fuel, and Icon. Let's see who made money today. <laughs> well, two. Top uh top ten. Oh, and then just a bunch of oh, just a bunch of stable coin. All right. Uh top ten gainers. Near protocol, Algorand, Terra USD, Dai, USD coin, Binance USD, Tether, True USD. Una said Leo and Pax Dollar. All right, let's see what the total market cap is. All right, still above two trillion. I thought we might have dipped above under that, but no, we're still hanging on to two trillion. So uh, total market cap is two point oh oh eight trillion dollars. When I left you on Sunday, we're at two point two nine oh trillion dollars. So we have gone down. Uh, point one, sorry, sorry, sorry. Point point two eight two trillion dollars. Yes. All right, let's see what 24-hour market cap is. Holy fuck, yeah. I mean, sorry, 24-hour volume. Shit. Exactly. It was a fucking sell-off today. Fucking profit takers and weak hands. Profit takers and weak hands and dudes getting liquidated and wrecked. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we got here? 24-hour volume is $243 billion. So that means there was a lot of activity, and obviously it was to the downside. <laughs> yes. It's a little bullish. And so when, when I left you on Sunday, we were <laughs> we were at $119.8 billion. So we've gone down uh, $124 billion. All right. <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving. You know, yeah, today was a slaughter. Reminds me of 2018. I thought I was in a time warp. Dang on. No, no. Still 2021, just a slaughter. Yeah, so, you know, around these parts, on this channel, uh, you know how it works. Uh, you see a day like today, don't go crying about it. Uh, be smart about it like a smart investor, and you buy these dips. There's a little saying in the market. Yeah, there's, there's a story in the markets. I'm going to tell you a little story, a little Wall Street fable, a little Wall Street sort of story. So there's a story that on Wall Street, <laughs> there's a trader. He's brand new. He gets assigned to a brand new trading desk, and he sits down, and he, he's a noob. He's brand new to trading, and, and he's a little nervous. He, he sits down beside a wily old veteran trader, a wily old veteran who's in there just killing the markets, and this kid's scared. He doesn't know what to do, and he, he asks the trader, he says, well, what, what do I do now? And the old grizzly veteran looks over to the young noob and says, buy the dip, idiot, and gets back to slaughtering. <laughs> Calls him an idiot. Well, it's actually buy the dip, fucker, is the real way you say it. But I say idiot. He tells him, buy the dip, idiot, and then gets back to work. And that's what it's all about, folks. You got to buy these dips. Uh, you got to buy these dips because, uh, well, you never know how long they're going to last. Prices at this uh, level. If you're buying revenue generating product, well, you know that when smart money gets here, your product is going to rise. So don't be afraid of these <laughs> these little blood red days like this. You should be happy about blood red days like this because this allows you to get the crypto cheaper. Uh, if you wanted to buy Cardano, well, it's 11% cheaper than yesterday. If you wanted to buy, what else we got here? Solana, well, it's almost 10% off today. All right, that's what they are. They're sales. These are sales. Uh, buy them before they're gone, before the sales are gone. All right, let's get to the stories, Lodagon. I know you guys know about it, but just if new people are here, just try to cheer them up a little bit. Settle down. Buy the dip, idiot. <laughs> buy the dip. All right, let's move on. Bug, I a foundation to support EU blockchain initiatives. So, you all know about IOTA. IOTA doesn't run a blockchain. They run what's called a tangle, far superior to a blockchain. The Tangle is infinitely scalable. It is unhackable. It's quantum proof already. So it's ready for the next threats of the future. Um, it's almost feeless. It's almost free. Uh, basically, everything that a blockchain has a problem with, uh, the Tangle doesn't. Okay? And so, um, so that's the IOTA Tangle. And then, um, it, you know, IOTA is being used by the European Union. For a whole bunch of things they're testing iota in five smart city pilots right now across europe no no no. sorry 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 seven 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 sorry 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 
It was two of them that they tested, and then they added five more. So it's seven cities across the European Union in different countries um, that they're testing out um, it for um, uh, smart cities. Because smart cities are going to have all these nodes and stuff all around your city. That's going to report back, you know, weather conditions and traffic conditions and uh, carbon monoxide conditions, whatever, whatever your city wants to know. They're going to have all these sensors and nodes around the city that are going to collect that data. And uh, IOTA is going to be uh, the blockchain used by all those nodes, right? And uh, that'll get sent to the Tangle, and then the Tangle will send that information to the relevant uh, people who need that data, right? So um, that's for their smart city stuff. Um, IOTA is also ha has been adopted by the European Union for all the supply chains of the mining industry in uh, in the whole of the European Union, the whole mining industry, the supply chains are going to be on the tangle. So, <laughs> you know, IOTA is being used as major infrastructure uh, in the European Union. And uh, so uh, here's another thing. Um, I mean, IOTA is being, you know, being used for a lot of other stuff, but those are the two biggest ones. Uh, the biggest onboardings that they have, contracts that they have. Um, so obviously when Smart Money gets here and sees that, well, duh, it's a no-brainer. Uh, you know, if you're being used as vital infrastructure, I mean, come on, right? Uh, that's revenue generating like hell. And so, and it's going to be around for a long time. And so... All right, and so let's check. And so here's a new uh, European venture. Um, actually, let's read the byline. The Auto Foundation is one of seven enterprises chosen to support the early stage innovation of a European blockchain venture. So this is European Union uh, government blockchain venture. So around here, you know, uh, you know, Fortune 500 onboardings or government contracts are the best, right? Government contracts, once you've signed them, you know, they last forever, pretty much. Unless your your thing messes up so much that they have to get rid of you, government contracts are pretty much forever, right? Um, you know that. And so that means your company is going to be around forever, right? Well, not necessarily, but... All right, so let's check this out. So, <clears throat> the European Commission's blockchain initiative has selected the IOTA Foundation as one of seven projects to participate in the preliminary stage of a designing an EU-wide distributed ledger technology platform. The initiative seeks to increase the efficiency and accountability of the European Blockchain Services Infrastructure, the EBSI, a network of nodes dedicated to facilitating the efficiency of EU-centric transactions, as well as the expansion of the region's supply chain through the adoption of emerging technologies, all the while reducing European carbon footprint. So the IOTA Foundation, a nonprofit organization supporting the Tangle, an open source DLT platform, will support EBSI in cross-border relations between governments, businesses, and citizens for the digital management of educational credentials, the establishment of trusted digital audit trails, and document traceability, SME financing, data sharing among authorities, and digital identification. So, whoa, this thing has quite the extensive list of things to do. So the nodes on the blockchain network will be managed by the European Commission. So, you know, the European Commission, that's the legislative, uh, sorry, that's the, sorry, sorry, executive branch of the European Union. You know, you have executive, legislative, judicial. So that's the executive branch. <laughs> Right, like here in America, Joe Biden is part of the executive branch. That's the executive branch, the cabinet members and all those guys, you know, uh, Minister of Defense, the Minister of Finance, all that, uh, the Treasury guy, that's called the executive branch. So, you know, they're the guys who run shit. And so the European Commission uh, is using it. So that's the executive branch. Not using it, but um, it's managed by the European Commission. With the 27-member EU jurisdiction, and by individual members of the European blockchain partnership within individual regions. 
The Iota Foundation was one of 30 blockchain DLT focus projects to submit an official application during the tendering process for the pre-commercial procurement in November 2020. Following EBSI approval, the project will now embark on a two-year pilot scheme in which an estimated 6.2 million euros will be granted to the seven applications through a series of elimination phases. After the first year of rigorous testing across a variety of applications, just two projects will compete in the final round. This will constitute a 12-month phase with the capabilities of the newly developed infrastructure and applications, e.g. digital uh, product passport, IPR management cases will be tested. Successful completion of all phases throughout the two-year period will be rewarded with a service fee of 1.6 million euros and be chosen as the single project to deliver the European Commission DLT infrastructure. So in other news, IOTA, in other news, in other IOTA news, sorry, in other IOTA news, Cointelegraph reported in October 2020 that the IOTA Foundation was collaborating with the Japanese government on an artificial intelligence and DLT crossover project aimed at predicting the risk management status of industries such as petrochemicals and oil refining plants. So bang, so you see IOTA, so they're also working with the Japanese government. So you see, IOTA seems to be, I mean, IOTA has regular Fortune 500 contracts. Um, I believe they're in Volkswagen cars. Um, also uh, in, um, what's that fucking uh, Land, Ro Land Rover, right? Land Ranger, what's it called? Land Rover, right? Those trucks, they're in that. Um, and, and then, as you can see, uh, they're shooting for the uh, government contracts. And so, government contracts. Like I said, once, you, once you're being used by a government, well, they don't stop using it, right? Unless it messes up so, 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 so much, right? And even then, it's more like, well, just fix it, right? You know, before they have to do a whole, uh, you know, revamping of whatever it is that broke or whatever. And so, IOTA hodlers, as I used to say, if you don't have IOTA and VeChain in your portfolio, I don't know what you're doing. I mean, that, when Smart Money gets here and sees stuff like this, well, duh, <laughs> duh, no brainer, to the moon. All right, IOTA hodlers, bang, another major one. Let's check it out. All right, so let's check out over here. Bang! German asset manager Union Investment seeks Bitcoin exposure for several funds. All right. So uh, these guys uh, seem to be, I don't know about German funds, so I don't know who the fund masters are over there. But from what I've heard, from what I've been reading about on the Internet today, this is one of Germany's major asset managers. Um. Yeah. Okay, and so let's read the byline. German funds and asset managers are expanding their horizons on crypto investments now that the now that the nation has more favorable laws governing special funds. Uh, special funds. And um, I wanted to tell you something though. Um, right. And so the you know so this is one of Germany's biggest fund managers, asset managers, fund managers, and you know. Germany is the largest economy in the European Union, right? So think of it that way, right? All right, so it's a big deal. That's what I'm trying to say, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Union investment of $500 billion asset manager is planning to add Bitcoin to several investment funds as part of a targeted pilot program for its institutional clients. All right, so this is for institutions. Bang, good. Offering compelling evidence that crypto is becoming more mainstream in Europe's largest economy. The Frankfurt-based institution told Bloomberg on Monday that it is considering adding Bitcoin to a small number of investment funds that will only be available to private investors. So private fund, right? I've taught you the difference between private funds and ETFs, exchange-traded funds. Private funds, you have to apply to be in them, uh, whereas exchange-traded funds, you just 
buy it all, you know, through your E-Trade account or whatever. <laughs> so for each fund, Bitcoin exposure will be limited to no more than 2% of total assets. So not very much. Portfolio man manager Daniel Baith said the new investment strategy is likely to commence in the fourth quarter, though no fixed timetable was given. Union Investment is the investment arm of DZ Bank Group, an institution with over 800 cooperative banks. As of June 30th, Union Investment had $507 billion in assets under management, making it one of Germany's largest asset managers. Germany is quickly becoming a hotbed for crypto investments. The Germans! You daggone right they are especially among institutional players. On August 2nd, a new law allowing institutional funds to hold crypto came into effect, uh, setting the stage for... Wait. Oh, on, sorry, sorry, sorry. On August 2nd, a new law allowing institutional funds to hold crypto came into effect, setting the stage for a wider uptake of digital assets, even among German pension funds. Meanwhile, German securities broker S Broker recently announced a suite of crypto focused product offerings. Bang! The Germans! Here they come. Actually, they're here. So, at the retail level, Germans don't rank as highly for crypto adoption, according to a recent survey by financial comparison uh, website Finder. The, the 42,000 person survey estimated that only 11% of Germans had exposure to digital assets. Although that's higher than the United States and the United Kingdom, it ranked well below emerging markets and other European nations. So, Bitcoin turning heads again as the first launch cryptocurrency pushes toward 50, oh wow, it's not 52,000 now. So anyways, bang, there you go. So another fund, uh, another master, fund master, is going to put some Bitcoin in a fund. Now, it's only 2% per fund. But uh, like I said the other day, it sexies up a fund, doesn't it, right? It sexies it up. <laughs> because even that 2%, I bet, is going to make more gains than the 98% of shit that's in that fund. <laughs> you know, a fund is a basket of assets. You take assets, you put it in. Uh, and then you sell it as a package, right? A package deal kind of thing. Like a, like progressive insurance bundles. Um, uh, you know, you bundle it, right? And so... Um, that's that's a fund, right? It's a basket of assets. And so I bet you that 2% that's going to be in the fund will, will outgain the 98% of shit that's in there. So they, there's a couple funds. I wish they would have told us what, what type of funds and what were in the funds, but whatever. Um, just good news for crypto. All right. Bye. Let's move on. Look, Republic of Panama introduces bill for regulating crypto. And so... Um, they're not going, uh, they're not going as balls deep as El Salvador, uh, but pretty close, pretty close. <laughs> Speaking of El Salvador. So today was the big day. Today was the big day. Um, uh, the Bitcoin is now legal tender in El Salvador, the first country in the world to make it legal tender. Um, and it crashed. <laughs> How many, what's the, hold on, let's go back. Let's look. And it crashed 10%. 10%. 10%. 10 <laughs> so look, don't listen to all these stupid little, you know, oh my gosh, the Bitcoin halving is going to do this or, or the futures contracts are going to expire and shit. Look, none of that matters. None of any of that matters yet, man. When smart money gets here, those kind of things are going to matter. But if you're at, and also I want you also to think about stuff like, I also want you to think about, you know, I, I don't want you to read stuff like, you know, if your chain link goes down today or your 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 polygon goes down today or your Cardano goes down today. Well, why did my Cardano go down? Well, it's not a fucking mystery, idiot. Brother and sister. <laughs> not idiot. Brother and sister. It's not a it's not a mystery. Bitcoin goes down, everything goes down. Bitcoin goes up, everything goes up. For a bunch of people who worship at the altar of decentralization. Oh, decentralization will change the world. It will bring world peace. It will save the environment. Yes. Well, this is the most centralized market in the world. Bitcoin goes up, everything goes up. Bitcoin goes down, everything goes down. Imagine if the stock market, if Boeing went up, then everything went up. If Boeing went down, everything went down. It's ridiculous, right? Uh, and that's what we're in. We are in a ridiculous market. 
Um, I've told you this since the very beginning of this channel. We are in an immature market, right? It's immature right now, um, meaning that everyone's following the big dog. Bitcoin goes up, everything goes up. Bitcoin goes down, everything goes down. When the smart money gets here, things are going to change. There's going to be a decoupling, right? Right now, everything is, in my world, we call it coupling. You know, you can call it correlation, whatever you want to call it, but it's a coupling, meaning that when the asset, one asset moves, well, another asset somewhere else moves the same way. Yeah, well, that's Bitcoin. And Bitcoin literally leads fucking all of these thousands of assets the same way. Right? So all these assets are coupled because we are in an immature market right now. But when smart money gets here, there's going to be what's called a decoupling. Uh, Bitcoin might go down. Yeah, well, uh, well, let me put it this way. Things are all going to move based on their own, uh, what do you call it? Based on their own performance. So today, I just read, I just read to you, IOTA was, uh, is going to be in a blockchain initiative for the whole of the European Union. Let's see what IOTA did today. Well, I bet it went down, right? Didn't it? Because uh, Bitcoin went down. There's IOTA, down 8%. Yeah, well, in a real market with real traders, with smart money, yeah, well, Bitcoin would, uh, IOTA would fly today. Wouldn't it? All right, wouldn't it? I mean, why would, why, why, like, I mean, let's look at anything. What have we read lately? Um, why is, uh... You know, why is Chainlink, where's Chainlink? Here it is. Here it is. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Why is Chainlink down today? 19% down? Why? Was there some bad news? Did they do something wrong? Absolutely not. It's because we are in an immature market, and so everything follows the price of Bitcoin, right? So, and that's why I also always tell you guys, I've been telling you since the beginning of this channel, do not worry about the prices of these shits yet of these cryptos yet. If it's making money and you like it, buy, buy, buy it. Accumulate, accumulate, accumulate it. Uh, don't worry about these daily up and downs because when smart money get, when Chainlink is down 18% today. Yeah, well, when smart money gets here, that this kind of shit would never happen. Why would it go down 18%? A fifth of its value? For what? They come to the rescue of every single DeFi thing in this space. If it wasn't for Chainlink, we wouldn't have DeFi probably, right? It's down? Yeah, because this is dumb money. We're here with some dumb motherfuckers, I tell you that. This is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. I'm a 21-year investor. If you're new to this channel, my money makes me money. I've been investing for 21 years, straight. I don't have a 9-to-5 job. I don't, I don't live that rat race life. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my face. Look at my hair. Yeah. Right, you can't go into work looking like this, can you? I can barely walk the street without someone offering me a dollar because they feel bad for me. <laughs> oh, Mr. Homeless Man, here's a dollar. Thank God I got Prada glasses and an Armani watch on. What the hell? You're offering me a dollar? Well, I'll take it. But seriously, though, but we are here with dumb fuck money. And that's why I don't want you to look at, if you're sitting there looking all sad at your portfolio, well, my portfolio, so don't worry about it. If you've got revenue generating product when smart money gets here, believe me, you're going to be rewarded. For choosing wisely. You're gonna I mean, some of these things do deserve going down twenty <laughs> percent. Chain link? Are you fucking kidding? Uh I mean I could name a few. Chain link? Are you joking? IOTA going down, V chain going down. V chain just got that thing last week we read about, right? The carbon thing, the carbon credits thing, right? Or something like this for the environment, right? Uh Polygon. Look at all of these, all of these um there's many, many projects migrating over to Polygon. You're telling me it should go down? It should be fucking flying. Okay, so don't don't let the prices of things make you think, oh my gosh, maybe I chose wrong, or oh my God. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You've, if you've been with me on this channel, and you've chosen the things that I read about to you, the, 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 the cryptos I read about to you, don't worry. When smart money gets here, you are going to be rich. Fucking rich. I'm going to be rich. Fucking rich, yes. We're just here with dumb money right now. I've been telling you this since the beginning of the channel. And it's good that we're here with dumb money. I know you're looking at this. You, uh, some of you are looking at your portfolio today. <laughs> it's it's a shit show. It looks like a shit show, right? Uh, I know. Today I lost probably 
five hundred grand. Uh, if you add up all my different coins that I have, I probably lost about five hundred grand in value today. So fucking what? Do I look? Do I look worried to you? Fuck! I tell you right now, <laughs> I am not worried in the least. I am not worried in the least. I'm lighting the smoke, drinking my fuel, and hoping that my brothers and sisters on who watch this channel go get these sales. Hey, these are sales. You know, you're sitting there. If you're sitting there and you're crying about your, your your portfolio right now, I want you to understand something. In life, sometimes things are not happening to you. They are happening for you. You understand? They're not happening to you. My account's down. The market just killed me. The market didn't just kill you. The market just said, hey, Susie, here, come get some more of that chain and get a cheaper price even. See, the more the market's helping you. She's helping you. Hey, Billy. <laughs> you know, you, you want a little bit more Cardano? Here you go. What do we got? I'll give you a 10% discount. See, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you. Because you know very well that when smart money gets here, well, your Cardanos are going to be way higher than they are now. You know very well that your chain link are going to be way higher than they are now. Look at Solana. That shit has been on a rip, roaring tear the past, uh, I don't know, about a week and a half now here. I mean, double digits seems almost daily, right, guys? Am I wrong or am I right? I know I'm pretty much right. Right? So it, maybe you've missed that run. Well, here, Solana's, look, look, look down there at the bottom of the screen. There you go. The market says, here you go, sweetie. There you go, little Susie. Solana's 10% off today. <laughs> go get some. Before it starts doing its wildness again. Before it starts taking off. Okay, I want you all to understand that. Okay, think like smart money things. Buy the dips. We buy the dips. You don't buy a green candle. You buy the red. <laughs> That's the point, right? That's how we win. Because the other people are doing the opposite, which is uh, it allows us to crush them, right? So just be happy today. And uh, like I said, accumulate, 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 whatever it is you want right now. Because we have a nice sale. Uh, we were above 50,000 on the Bitcoin there for a second. And uh, while we're still, while we're down here in the mid, the mid, mid to high 40s, uh, take this time to accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. All right, so let's get to the stories. Just in case people are new, I wanted to get their minds right. You know, get your mind right, boy. Shimori. Shamari, my, my account is down 20% today. <laughs> Shut up, boy. That means you go buy more. I had 20% discount, son. The fuck you crying about? <laughs> the fuck you crying about? When smart money gets here, that shit's going to fly. Be happy that you get a sale. Dad gone. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, that's enough. I think I've explained it enough. All right. Bang! Republic of Panama introduces bill for regulating crypto. So, yes. And I tell you what, uh, it sounds like down there, I think Mexico is starting to think about some stuff. You know, I, I was complaining last year. You know, like, what the fuck? What's, nothing's coming out of South America. Holy, and now they're just dropping the chicken like it's going out of style over there. And so, um, right, what did we read the other day? Uh, hold on, what was that? I got to look. Was it in Brazil? Yeah, Brazil, right? The Brazilian parliament. <laughs> they told they told Bolsonaro, yeah, you got 180 days to come up with crypto regs, motherfucker. Right? The, the, the South Americans are just all of a sudden in a frenzy over crypto. And, you know, big time. Like, it's big time stuff. It's not just, you know... Uh... You know, are we going to allow Bitcoin or not? It, these guys are talking about making it legal tender. Like, here it is. Let me, let's me let read the byline here. A new bill in Panama aims to recognize Bitcoin as an, an alternative payment method and enable freedom to use crypto. Um, Yeah, these guys are going full on, balls deep. Uh, Bitcoin maximalist dream type stuff, right? <laughs> the Bitcoin maximalist dream, right? You'll see, Shamari, 
once everyone gets Bitcoin, they're all going to use it. They're going to get away from their stinky fiat. Well, all right. All right, buddy. But anyways. Well, oh, and I, I, I read this thing today. Uh, <laughs> it said uh, something like, uh, I'm paraphrasing, but it said, <laughs> it said something like, Al Salvador, welcome to Bitcoin. Down twelve percent on the uh, before you woke up this morning, right? Like, uh, you know, you know. Um, obviously, it's not a good start to the show. Obviously, it's not a good start to the show over there in El Salvador. All right, so let's just move on and check out what this bill is about. Let me get a sip first. Yeah, if I'm some little old El Salvadorian lady. With a little pension fund. Oh, they're going to let me have Bitcoin. And then I look at the Bitcoin price today. Well, what am I saying? Yeah, fuck that Bitcoin. <laughs> fuck that shit. All right, let's get real. Well, if you don't know any better, you know what I mean? She's a little old lady. She doesn't know a tsunami's coming, so, you know. All right, so amid Bitcoin becoming legal tender in El Salvador, another country in Central America is progressing on its way to enable freedom to use cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether. On Monday, the Republic of Panama introduced a bill on regulating cryptocurrencies, aiming to make the country compatible with the blockchain, crypto assets, and the internet. Oh, speaking of something, speaking of countries uh, regulating their crypto, so it turns out, so, you know, India, we all watch India. Actually, should I just read that to you tomorrow? Or should I just say it today? All right, word on the street is, but I am going to read something to you tomorrow, maybe. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. But I'm just going to tell you what it is then now. Word on the street is that India is going to regulate cryptocurrency as commodities. All right, so I'll leave it at that. And then I'll report on the proper, you know, because I, I got to still do some due diligence. So I don't want to you know, just say some bullshit that's wrong. And I look stupid. So, All right. Announcing the news on Twitter, Panamanian pro crypto congressman Gabri Gabriel Silva stressed that the new legal initiative has the potential <clears throat> to generate thousands of jobs, create new investment sources, as well as make the government more transparent. According to the draft bill document shared by Silva, the new legislation intends to recognize crypto assets like Bitcoin as an alternative global payment method for any civil or commerce operation not prohibited by the legal system of the Republic of Panama. The bill authors... Oh, it's a pain. The bill authors emphasized that cryptocurrencies enable fast and low-cost payments, allowing them to finalize a financial transaction regardless of the distance between parties and the transaction volume. In contrast to the government of El Salvador, which has required local business to accept Bitcoin in exchange for goods or services alongside the United States dollar, Panama's new crypto bill does not intend to force obligatory Bitcoin acceptance. So they're not going to be all hardcore like that, right? Forcing the businesses to take it. Like in El Salvador, you have to take the Bitcoin. You know, if I want to pay in Bitcoin, you have to take it. Uh, instead... The legislation calls to establish freedom to use cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether in Panama, blah, 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 said. So Silva said that the new draft bill was prepared in collaboration with Panamanian citizens and a multidisciplinary team, including industry and technology experts. The legislation was created taking into consideration important guidelines provided by international organizations such as the Financial Action Task Force, FATF compliance, of course. Uh, you all know what FATF is. Amid El Salvador deciding to accept Bitcoin as an official currency, more countries in Cent Central America have been moving into the crypto industry. In late August, a company in Honduras reportedly installed the country's first Bitcoin ATM, allowing users to buy Bitcoin and Ethereum using the local fiat currency, the Lempira. All right, well, bye. There we go. So Panama, so they want to go, they want to go hardcore, but they're not going as hardcore as El Salvador. Like in El Salvador, 
You have to take the Bitcoin. If I want to pay you in Bitcoin, you have to take it. Uh, by law. <laughs> That's why I said, I think this guy Bukele, right? He's young. He's only 39. He, the, the, the president of, of uh, El Salvador, he's only 39. Um, and I think he's a Bitcoin maximalist. <laughs> well, I can, I know he is because he's forcing them to take it. Um, um, whereas, and so, and so this, this one here is, Hey, you can use it if you want. You can take it if you want, right? Uh, so you as the citizen, you can use it if you want, wherever will accept it, right? Kind of thing. Whereas in El Salvador, it's, Hey, please use this and don't worry. Everyone will take it. Everyone will accept it from you, right? And so I guess you could call this El Salvador light, right? El Salvador light. But uh, like I said, it's interesting about the South Americans. Like they're finally, and and the they're coming online, but not just coming online, but it's full balls deep uh, regs they're bringing on, you know? Like, like in America, all we have is, all right, Bitcoin is a commodity, so is Ethereum. That's it. I mean, I mean, Starbucks, sure, if you want to take Bitcoin, you can if you want, you know, but there's no full on uh, legislative law that, you know, makes it legal tender, right? Actually, it's not legal tender here. It's a commodity here, right? Like a brick of gold or silver. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, the, the, the South Americans, they seem to be just going right for the jugular. And just, all right, we're going to just make this whole thing legal tender. So that's interesting. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Now let's get to the shout outs. Bang, what we got over here? Bang. We got Benny up. Connecting the dots. Love everybody. See you, brother. Bang. What we got? CB News. What, Benny? CB News. Flipkart founder files to launch Vanguard ETF vehicle. Okay. Let's read the byline down here. The Navi Total U.S. Stock Market Fund, a fund, will feed into Vanguard's U.S. listed Total Stock Market Index Fund. All right, we'll check that out. I'll read about that. Bang! All right, let's move on. Universal misanthrope holding down the insurgency in Central Europe. A true loyalist. Love your brother. See you, brother. Bang! Here's Binium again. Binium. Oh, he's talking about the thing. CB News. What Binium? CB News. IOTA tapped for the EU, oh, by the EU, uh, to enable regions blockchain infrastructure, yeah, which is what I just read, um, amazing thing, amazing thing, uh, well, what it said was that there's seven companies that are putting up the proposals, and then in the end, there's only going to be one. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be IOTA since the European Union is using them for all this other stuff. But that's how that works. So great stuff. Bang. That's what I just read. Grudgeable, grudgeable. <laughs> Look at this thing. Grudgeable, grudgeable. Love with you with the bang. Where are you guys getting this chicken guy from? Someone uh, uh, emailed or sorry, put this chicken guy right to the moon, right? And he's got his guns blazing. <laughs> Someone someone texted uh, that earlier to me as well. All right, lover of the sheep of the bang. Yeah, I like some gangster chicken. <laughs> That's cool. All right, Sunny me, spy lady. Love you, lady. See you, lady. Yes. The assassin. Bang. DJ Pollywood, lover of the sheep of the bang. Edwin, the original. Love it with the tea, brother. Bye. <clears throat> DP Entertainment. Oh, this fuck sticky put this. That's funny as hell. All right, let's watch it. DP Entertainment. So, brother. Look, girl. You looking fine right there. You looking real good, but we need some work in product. Why don't you come on by my place? And I'll show you where to get that. <laughs> don't worry. We'll just have some coffee. <laughs> Deep entertainment. So, brother. <laughs> Love brother. See you, brother. Bang. All right. So, he obviously, <laughs> he had to fuck around. So, he says, there it is. 
Someone buying coffee with Bitcoin. <laughs> so stupid. But here we go. Let's watch this, okay? Documenting Bitcoin. This is how easy it is to buy Starbucks coffee with Bitcoin in El Salvador. So here it is. And now let me tell you something right now. Do let me let me catch any of you motherfuckers doing this. I swear. You you will be banned and banished from the CB News channel, the family, all of it. Because you're obviously You're insane. You're insane. Okay, but here it is. Let's watch it. This is disgusting, but let's watch it. This makes me want to fucking vomit, but let's watch it. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> Oops. Sorry. Actually, we'll just do it this way then. Fuck it. There we go. So here's how you buy your coffee with Bitcoin. So there it is. That's how it works. Uh... They they pump they the guy shows you the QR code you press the button and there's your crypto. Yo, did you see how many how many Bitcoin that guy had? He had twenty eight Bitcoin. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you, DP. Uh, don't let me catch any of you doing that. That's some dumb ass shit. That is some dumb ass shit. But all right, yeah. <laughs> DP had to show me. There's someone buying coffee with crypto, literally. All right. Bye, DP. Don't ever do that, folks. Don't ever do that. Not yet. Not yet. Let's get rich first. Then you can fuck off your money like that once you're rich. All right, Bitcoin Kong. <laughs> Never but the Shiba, though. Bang. <laughs> Robbie Hardaway. Dang on it. Robbie. Dang on, Robbie. All right, he brought the Neanderthals fire. You saw that the other day. You saw that the other day. Uh, um, all right, and that's how long he's been with us, and that's why his picture's in black and white. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. I got to think of something. Guys, tell me what Robbie should do next. So that's going to be a little fun we're going to have on this channel. I want you all to DM me. What should Rob <laughs> what did Robbie make happen on Earth, okay? So that's what it is. What did he make happen? And so DM me and tell me the thing that Robbie made happen, and then we'll do the stories. <laughs> then we'll do the stories uh, on the shout-outs, okay? All right. That's a little... So I need help from you guys because I can't think of anything. All right. Lorna Downs, look, look. She said, look, look. I've been hearing about you motherfuckers around these parts. With that dag on crypto. Look. There's a new sheriff in town and I want in. Not just in, but all in. Bong. I said, yes, Mrs. Yes. Yes, Mrs. Downs. Yes, right here. Right this way, Mrs. Downs. Yes, yes. That's how she did it. All in. All in Downs. Look, look. She's got it all. <laughs> well, all the chicken anyway. Look at all that chicken right there. Drag on. Holy fuck. That's a that's a gazillion dollar portfolio right there. Look, look. Wow. I don't know about this one here, but the rest of it. <laughs> Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bye. Drag on right. We got we got Kong. What's he brought us? See if it is what Kong. Look, look, brothers. You two miscreants of fuck sticks. Fuel up for the bull run ahead. Tell him, Kong. Tell him dag on, cause look, look. Boom. Look, look, fuck sticks. IOTA is chosen by the European Union for Blockchain Initiative. Boom. German fund is gonna add Bitcoin to its funds. Boom. Panama introduces a bill to regulate Dagon crypto Dagon. Boom. And if you stick around this channel long enough and you pay attention and you fill with the chicken, your portfolio is gonna look like boom. Dagon right. Wow, let's go forget. 
going to look like this. Boom. You daggone right. You daggone right, Kong. You tell them daggone miscreants and those daggone fuck sticks. All of them. Look. Settle down. Hodl. Accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Wait for the next bull run. Look. Wow. Fuck a bull run. We're waiting for tsunami. Look. Daggone right, Kong. Bang. What's Edwin talking about down here? I don't know what that is. Victor, Lever with the Zebra the Bang. DB followed me. All right, Lever with the Zebra the Bang. Slappy, Lever with the Zebra, they're holding down the insurgency in the north. Lever with the Zebra the Bang. What? Polygon Matic. Where do you get your crypto news from? Oh, Shamari Clark at CB News, of course. Yeah, of course. Of course you do. It's the greatest of the multiverse. Why would you get it anywhere else? Anywhere else is unnecessary. <laughs> Thank you, Sloppy. Thank you, Sloppy, so much. Love your brother. See you, brother. Actually, you deserve another bang, dang on. Bang! Well, you always deserve another bang. But today especially. All right. Now that, is that... Where is everyone else? Who's this guy? What? Pridup Singloda. Pridup Singlodi. Wow. All right. Lever with the Zebra the Bong. Zilla going to have its own NFT marketplace. All right. Whatever. All right. Let's just get back to the Death Star. Bang. Where was everybody? Hold on. I know you're all here. Hold on. Let's just go back. Let's go back. I got to find you guys. Oh, there's your drop. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Bang. Bang. <laughs> Bang, <laughs> bang, got you wrong. Learn about the sea, brother. No one save you. Bang. All right, man, that's enough. Let's just get back to the Death Star. Bang. Welcome back, everybody. All right, so we had a great show for you today. Yeah, of course. You know, you know how it is. You know how it goes. All right, and so. IOTA chosen for EU blockchain initiative. So I told you that. IOTA is being used by the European Commission, which is the executive branch of the European Union government. Um, so that's the federal level of the European Union, right? So here in America, we, we have, uh, well, our executive branch uh, federally is Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and Blinken and those guys who run you know, the Federal Reserve, the, the Treasury Department. That's called the executive branch. And so that's what the European Commission, and in Europe, they call their executive branch the European Commission. Okay, so that's, so just so you understand what level IOTA is running on here, this is the same as if Joe Biden said, all right, IOTA, you're going to be part of this blockchain thing, right, that we have for the whole country, right? So it's countrywide. I know the European Union people in the eu they don't like when i say this but you're just the united states of europe now that's it that's it get real about it don't cry about it you guys voted on it and you are now the united states of europe and your executive branch is the european commission and so when the european commission does something well it affects all your countries all 27 of them right that's why you're the united states of europe here in america we have 50 states over there in Europe, you have 27, all right? And so, uh, great for IOTA holders. If you're an IOTA holder, which you probably should be, in my opinion, I don't tell you what to buy, but if you don't have IOTA in your portfolio, I mean, I don't know what, what criteria you're using to choose <laughs> revenue generating product, uh, viable companies, It must be some secret algorithm you've got going there because if you don't have IOTA in your portfolio, uh, doc, I don't tell people what to buy, but I think you're wrong. You know, you're just wrong. You know what I'm saying? Get your mind right. Get your fucking mind right, fuck. Hmm. <laughs> uh, and it said IOTA's being used by the Japanese government, didn't it? Hold on. Let me go back and look. One second, guys. Let me just look at something. Fucking right. It said there's some Japanese thing. I'd never heard of that Japanese thing before. I've only heard of all the European Union stuff. 
reported on October 2020, the Yoda Foundation was collaborating with the Japanese government on an artificial intelligence and distributed ledger technology crossover project aimed at predicting the risk management status of industries such as petrochemicals and oil refining plants. Yeah. So I'm going to look into that shit. I've never, I didn't know about that. Good. So, bang. I mean, like I've said here before on this channel, um, look, I want to see IOTA. Come on, man. Come and do something in America. And VeChain. Come on. Come on. They seem to be very, like, VeChain and IOTA are very country-centric, aren't they? Right? Uh, well, I mean, I well, I guess IOTA is doing something with Japan, so that's good. They're branching out a little bit. But everything they've been doing is with either the European government or European companies, right? The Volkswagen company, right? Putting the IOTA in the cars and stuff like that. They haven't really branched out very much. Um, well, except that little Japanese thing that I just read, so that's interesting. But I want to see them, come on, come over to America. You too, V-Chain, let's go, let's go, you know? I know V Chain did come to America with that. What is it? Wine? Some wine thing or something like that? Um, I noticed that V Chain is focused on more high end products. I mean, obviously, the guy, the guy who runs it, Sonny Lou, he used to be the CTO of Louis Vuitton. So he's into the high culture, high life, uh, you know, haute couture, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, you know, exclusive stuff, right? That's where he comes from. And so now I understand why VeChain <clears throat> is, is is sort of focused on that end of the market, the high-end market, right? For high-end people. He comes from Louis Vuitton, so hey, you know about that. And so anyway, so, but, okay, guys, so IOTA. IOTA hodlers, bang! Amazing news, amazing news, amazing news. All right, and then German Fund. Seeks uh, to put Bitcoin in several of its funds. And so, I mean, dag on. I mean, <clears throat> you guys remember last year, before the SE, uh, before last June, yeah, we never talked about funds. Uh, all of a sudden, the OCC uh, here in America, that's the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency. They're the ones that control our banks. Said to our banksters, hey, guys, you can custody, you can custody some crypto. Right. Well, everyone around the world said, oh, my gosh, here come the Americans. And now we're just seeing fund after fund after fund after fund after. I mean, every day we talk about a fund every day now. Right. I even told you, I mean, it's going to get so bad that. Soon we're not going to just talk about them every single day like that. We'll probably do like a fund wrap up at the end of the week or something. Um, but here comes the Germans again. Fuck again. Fucking guys, they don't stop. They don't stop. Mama, look. Mama, wake up. Why? The Germans are coming. All right? That, that's what you always hear. And here it is again. Right? It's like you're all sleeping together. You know, you're sleeping in your, your, your clubhouse. Edwin, 007, wake up. Quickly, we must accumulate. Why? Why? The Germans are coming. <laughs> the Germans are here. And so the Germans are here. And one of their fund giants is now going to offer crypto in their funds. Uh, a natural progression. Uh, like I told you, a market a market is funds. That's what makes a market. All this sexy shit. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's just fun little cowboy stuff. Uh, but a market is funds. And that's what gives you the power of a market. That's the foundation of your market, right? Like I said, the sexy in and out, in and out. That's, there's no foundation here. This is just wheeling and dealing cowboy business. This is what gives your market the power. All right, we've talked about that before. And so, all right, well, here we go. Germany's building their crypto foundation one fund at a time. So, all right, bang. And then finally, Panama introduces a bill to regulate crypto. And so, uh, amazing, amazing. I mean, Dad, God, South America, finally. I mean, I remember remember last year I was complaining a little bit, like, what the fuck, man? Where, where's some investment vehicles coming out of Asia? Where's some coming out of South America, right? Um, especially South America, because we didn't hear a peep 
out of South America. All of a sudden, bang! Motherfuckers are just <laughs> making Bitcoin legal tender. And uh, so I wanted to say something, though. They keep talking about Bitcoin being legal tender, but what about the rest of this crypto? What is that in El Salvador? You know, what What are my V chains? What are my polygons? What are my Mat uh, Matic is polygon? What are my polygons? What are my chain links? What are my, my IOTAs, my Stellars? My Singularity Net, Sophia, mm. right? What are they? And so um, it's interesting that he unleashed Bukele, that's the president of El Salvador, that he unleashed Bitcoin as legal tender, which is the whole maximalist dream, right? So we're going to see how it really works. Here it is. Here it is. Here's a population of people. Uh, they've been unleashed. Like I said today, they were unleashed today, and I'm sure most El Salvadorians actually did look at the price of Bitcoin today, and they just saw a bloodbath. And so I'm not really sure <laughs> how soccer moms and dads are going to take that. I don't think pretty well. I don't think very well at all. Um, should have released it a week earlier when it was going up last week. Uh, but uh, <laughs> what a bad day to release that shit. And so, uh, but, um, you know, we'll just see what happens. Uh, we'll see what happens over there. Uh, like I said, we're going to keep our eye on it. Um, of course, you know, because that's the dream, the maximalist dream, right? So we're going to watch it. Um, I heard there were a few problems today. If you go on Bloomberg, Bloomberg said there was a few problems with the rollout. A couple little glitches, no big deal. So we'll see. But anyways, this story is about Panama. Sorry, I got caught up in the El Salvador thing because El Salvador is the real deal, right? I mean, they just literally just, here it is, maximalists. Uh, like they, they, forced their, they forced their retailers and everyone to take it. Now, you have to take it. If I want to pay you in Bitcoin, you have to take it. And so uh, that's super maximalism. And so let's see. But now let's get to the Panama story. So the Panama bill, though, is uh, it's El Salvador light. In other words, hey, anyone can use Bitcoin to buy stuff, but we're not going to force stores to take it, um, right? So it's I, I like to, I, I'm looking at this as an El Salvador light. Um, well, because El Salvador also went balls deep that, you know, they're going to pay pensioners in Bitcoin. Yeah, if you have a pension, you're going to get paid in Bitcoin right now. And so if I'm a pensioner uh, and I looked at the price of Bitcoin today, I got to say, I'm not so happy about that. I'm not too happy about that at all, getting paid in this stuff. I mean, it's too volatile for regular people. You know, we're investors, so we're not stupid. And we can we know that Bitcoin's volatile. It's an immature market. So, But to make some lady, some little old lady in El Salvador take her pension in this stuff, Come on, bro. It's a little mean. Uh, she can't handle volatility like this. She just lost 10% of her value in her pension check today. If you're on a pension, you're probably, you know, that's a limited income. You can't afford to be giving away money to the market. And so um, I like the Panama bill here. Uh, hey, if you want to use it, you can. If you want to take it, you can. That's a more less Gestapo Nazi way of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get real. El Salvador, they came down like China, just, you will use this, right? Like, it's a little mean. Making, making, uh, you know, like I said, like the pensioners, making them take it and take their pensions in Bitcoin. Come on, that's a little rough. That's a little rough. Because it's so volatile, right? Because the, it's so volatile, right? As an investor, okay. I know we could go up a thousand, down a thousand. Look, it just went down. Four thousand and a half. What in two days? You know, that's fine for a guy like me. I'm a, you know, I'm an investor, so I, you know, I'm, I'm not stupid. I, I expect that volatility. Um, but for just soccer moms and dads or little old ladies getting pensions, come on, man, you can't, you shouldn't subject them to that. And so finally, fuck, let's just finally get over with this. Panama introduced the bill, and that's a good bill. Um, and like I said, South America, man, uh, we read the other day, Brazil is giving the Bolsonaro, that's the president of Brazil, 180 days to come up with regs. Panama's introducing a bill. So, uh, looks like a lot of these places down there in South America are starting to get rip roaring and starting to regulate real nice. 
and uh, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, obviously, on this channel, I'll keep you posted. All right, so on that note, let's shill it and kill it. Bye, let's get you back to your wives and lives. Look, subscribe below, press the bell. Bang, you get an automatic notification when I do the show. The greatest show on earth. The greatest show. Look. The multiverse. Look, my name's Smart Clock. Love talking money. Bang, love talking crypto. Bang, this is the favorite time of my day. So thank you for having me in your home. And I'll see you tomorrow for another fun fact, fact filled day of crypto talk. But until then, subscribe here and watch that video. Or, sorry, subscribe here and press that button, a little bell, and you'll get a notification when the greatness occurs. <laughs> and then watch that video there. That's the greatest of the multiverse. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. <laughs> and then I'll see you all tomorrow. So look, my name is Smart Clock. I'm always watching that money. And more importantly, lucky for you, bang, I am always on duty. Look, look. See you tomorrow. Over and out.